Are we gonna go for a walk? Are we going for a walk? Yeah, we're just gonna wait for mommy. Hey, pretty boy. Hmm? Are you excited? You love your walks? Yes, you do. <laughs> All right, we are heading out. Just going now. Just gonna drive down to the riverfront, which is a two minute drive. But uh, yeah, we like to walk along there. We could easily walk there and continue to walk, but uh, we like to walk, spend most of the time walking along the riverfront and uh, it's just gorgeous down there, especially this time of year. Hey, Physique Freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzan on MetabolicMasterpiece.com. That was an incredibly invigorating walk with Chief and Angie earlier this morning. Later on in the afternoon, 3 p.m., Rick and I hit the gym to blast our back and our triceps. There is a great shot of his massive finger. <laughs> have to tease him when we hit the gym later today. Uh, I felt really, really strong today. Bumped up the weight on the pull-ups while maintaining full range of motion, good form. A little tough to tell from this camera angle, but my chest was getting pretty damn close to the bar there. Right now, I want to talk a bit about the head games that are going on in my mind. As I've been mentioning for the past couple of weeks, um, I really want to dial in my nutrition, dial in my diet, and bring out the finer details of my physique. As really um, inspired during that, that training session that I had with my buddy Adam who just competed this past weekend. I think it's really cool to get this training footage uh, with a physique that is incredibly detailed. I mean, Rick and I are both really lean right now. We're in great shape. We've got the abs. Uh, we've got some great details, but there's something, something just freaking awesome about just taking it to that next level and, and for me I'm only like four pounds away from that um, which is the big thing I think I'm so close I'm like you know what I just bring it like why not take it to that next level and uh, I think it'd be really cool to to be seeing this workout footage on a regular basis um, with a little bit leaner more shredded ripped look and I found that during the week, I've been freaking laser focused, just crazy ass focused, just feeling unstoppable. Nothing's gonna get in the way of following my nutrition plan, having killer workouts, doing the hit on the bike, doing some farmer walks. Uh, I'm just dialed completely in and excited, super um, inspired and motivated to achieve my goal. And then I usually plan for a Friday evening cheat meal and I know at the end of the day I'll end up around maintenance calories or in a slight surplus and that goes great and it's all planned and I feel excellent um, I feel refed energized ready to take on the next week but then I find like I start Saturday morning off really well and then later in the day I start to justify some extra indulgences that, that weren't planned and as I'm consuming them I just start thinking to myself you know what I had five days in a row eating really, really well, um, doing like two days in at maintenance or in a slight surplus isn't going to wipe out uh, the progress that I made. So I start justifying that and then I start thinking to myself, you know what, and plus you, uh, it, it might be easier for you, You'll main, you're more likely to maintain your muscle mass during this cutting phase if you have this extra little refeed day. Um, you may even build a little bit of muscle in the process. And then I start thinking, yeah, I know I need to gain some size, especially when I want to step on stage again. I want to see my chest fuller, my back thicker, legs a bit bigger, calves bigger. So I start thinking about muscle building. So I get these competing goals in my head and it makes it very easy for me to justify these indulgences. Especially when I'm continuing to make some progress like with these weekend refeeds, uh, whether it's two days or three days in a row of uh, maintenance or slight surplus. By Friday, when I my, take my progress photos and step on the scale and everything, I've made progress. It's just, it's slower, steady progress, which is all good. I mean, it's, it's really, fantastic uh, but really I, I want to step up my game I want to get this goal done and over with and uh, really yeah at the traps. same time <laughs> as you can tell right now in my head um, I'm like well you know if I can make progress and have fun on the weekends like uh, I played darts with my buddies and Rick my brother-in-laws this weekend we got a Halloween party last weekend it was our anniversary um, so I'm kind of living life to the fullest or living a little <laughs> as some people would like to say so I, I, I justify it in that way but right now I think the main thing that I need to focus on is one single goal of fat loss get shredded achieve that goal 
and then focus on building muscle while t maintaining that lean, ripped look. So I really need you guys to hold me accountable to that, and I'd love to hear any tips and tricks that you use to keep your la yourself laser focused on one single goal. All right, breakfast, grabbing myself eight egg whites, one whole egg, some orange pepper, cook that up in a teaspoon of coconut oil, and top it off with a bit of ketchup. So we are looking at just under 300 calories. All right, I'm gonna grab two of these pumpkin squash chocolate chip muffins. The recipe is from Deceptively Delicious by Jessica Seinfeld. We make a few of these recipes from the book, uh, mainly like different desserts and snacks, uh, a way for us to hide veggies in the kids' snacks there. Pretty darn good, so I'm gonna grab two now and catch up. All right, snack, gonna grab myself some plain Greek yogurt and some of those mixed berries. Today I decided not to go with any Nutella in there, I'm trying to cut back a little bit on the calories. I'm gonna grab myself two more of these muffins. They are super duper delicious. All right, we got some beef barley stew for dinner here. So of course, some beef steak in there. Some carrots, some celery, some tomatoes, some quinoa, and no doubt, there's barley in there. All right, not sure how many calories, but this is delicious. One of my favorite meals that Angie makes in the crock pot. 